the RV location where we purchased our trailer and we are taking it in for an annual inspection and you should be able to see the trailer just over my shoulder through the window back there yep but before we do that please go ahead and click that subscribe button please subscribe subscribe somewhere below and leave any comments I appreciate your comments and feedback and if you feel inclined to do so after watching this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up taking the RV for the annual inspection and we've gotten the stamp of approval that there are no issues with the RV. So now we are headed up to Raccoon Mountain, Tennessee and we just like to take the RV to Raccoon Mountain. We've been there before, really nice place and just get in a little RV. Hey guys, so we have made it to Raccoon Mountain in Chattanooga, Tennessee, and it is a beautiful evening. It's cold, but I mean, it's winter time, so what else do you expect? But it is beautiful, no rain. Um, last year when we were up here, it was a lot colder and it was raining, so we're doing considerably better than last year. I'm just gonna show you guys around a little bit so you can see the site that we are staying at. So this is our view. You've got the Tennessee mountains up there. That's a bathhouse right there. There's a swimming pool for the summer months. And They've got a playground area for the kitties. And again, you can see more view of the mountainous area. And you can see the sky, the clouds in the sky. It is just a gorgeous day out. And even though it's chill, I'd say it's chilly. I wouldn't really say cold but you know I'm from the Midwest so I may have a little bit of a different perception of what cold is than people that are from the south or warmer climates but it's chilly but it's not unbearable so we are just going to unpack and get everything set up oh and I'm gonna give you guys a tour of the camper so let's just see here there's more of the mountains just mountains all around we're just surrounded by the Tennessee Hills
there is I think we decided on Ziggy the Zinger so there's Ziggy the Zinger oh Zig and we've got our picnic area and our fire pit area which we I don't think we brought any wood and you should get local wood so that you don't spread any type of um, tree infestation due to um, little bugs that are specific to certain regions and certain types of trees so it's always a good idea to purchase wood locally and usually an RV campsite furnishes the wood or stores nearby usually have wood that come from the local area but we don't have any wood but what we use is a propane fire pit so later on this evening um, we we'll, we may get that set up and that way we don't really have to worry and it's clean burns clean gas so it's approved at RV campsites um, and we don't have to worry about the issue of wood and different areas and traveling and taking wood that may contain um, bugs and things that could spread illnesses to the trees and the forestry from campsite to campsite. And I'm just going around and making sure it's got gravel and uneven roads. So I have to make sure that I'm steady as I go. There's Ozig. There she goes. And this is our first purchase we bought. We bought Ziggy um, about last year, this time last year. So we've had her for years, so 2018. And we bought her just around January of 2019. So, um, and she was purchased new. So even though it was a 2018, it had not been previously owned. And so yeah we've enjoyed a lot of good traveling and RVing and um, let's go inside Chris is getting stuff whoa So coming into the entrance of the RV, you see the dining area. It's got the U-shaped um, dining area table. And that's actually Chris's electric bike. And sometimes when we're out RVing, we like to take the bikes out and tour around and explore the area and because of my leg I'm not able to paddle so the electric bikes have a motor that gets up to about 25 miles per hour something like that and so it gives me the ability to get around without having to try to paddle the bike um, so there's that and there's our fridge we've got a window area with the blind that I accidentally broke oh, I wish you told them about that got that fixed kitchen area there's the bedroom and here's the kitchen and it's 
got a double sink. You'll see Chris down there working. It's got a double sink and an L-shaped dining area with a three burner stove with the oven. And then we've got the range and the microwave and the dark wood cabinetry. And then over here we have, which you can see me, hi guys. <laughs> we have our um, entertainment area and we've got a TV flat screen I think that's a 32 I want to say a 32 inch flat screen and again you can see me in the flat screen and then here we've got our console our mantle and fireplace and entertainment area all of our remotes and Chris is doing I think some I think that looks like winterization but I don't know um, he handles all of that technical stuff thankfully and I don't really concern myself too much with it and let's go over to the bathroom we got the thermostat and the CO2 detector thermostat and this is a central heating and air and I'll show you we've got a vent there floor and that is the AC unit and then you've got speakers there for the entertainment system and another speaker down on the other end of that light and a, snow, a smoke detector there and coming around here we have the bathroom area got lots of storage space it's got under sink storage a little extra shelving there and then we've got cupboard storage so we've got lots of places to put our towels washcloths toiletries and everything in this particular model let me scoot back has the curtain shower stall and it already is set up with my bath chair for disabled um, handicapped bath chair it is already set up in here and it's got the shower head in the stall so that's our shower stall and it's got the ventilation system. Uh, got our heating and air unit there. And the mirror and the sink. And again, the storage space. So, yeah. So I guess let's now just move back into the bedroom and there's my walker so when I'm in the RV and I'm out of leg I've taken my prosthetic leg off and I need to get around especially like at night if I've got to get up and go to the bathroom then I've got my collapsible um I guess they call it a rolling walker and there's an acorn we have where we live we've got lots of acorns and we track them in on our shoes there's another one in the corner so I've got to sweep out everything this is the first time that we've been RVing in a while been out to a campsite so I need to do some 
general housekeeping and get everything um, back functional. But I have this in here because I have other walkers um, at home. And since this one is collapsible, it's easy for us to store it in here. It doesn't take up that much space. And yeah, that's how I get around when we are RVing and I do not have my leg on. And sometimes even if I have my leg on, but I'm feeling like I'm not quite able to get around that good, then I'll use that walker and I also have my cane. And mostly I try to, like I said, I try to push myself and I try not to rely on those according to my physical therapist. They want me to, you know, try not to do it. So I do as much as possible, but um, you know, uh, there are limitations and, um, I just have to understand that if my leg is, if I'm not feeling good or feeling capable of being able to walk around with just the leg itself, then I do have other assist, assisted devices that I use. And this is one of them. And my cane is another one. So I do have my cane and I do have this when I travel. Um, and then this is our bed and it is what they call a camper queen. And, um, what we've done, so we've modified it a little bit because what it initially had was just, let me see if I can show you guys. It just had this mattress, just that, you can see that. So it just initially came with that and that wasn't cutting it. <laughs> um, actually, I can unzip this and show you. That's just pretty much like some kind of styrofoam. Let's see if I can. I mean, so that reduces to nothing very easily. So that was not getting it so I got this little type of cushiony not even memory foam but like egg crate ish type of um, mattress pad I thought it was thicker it looked thicker in the package but when I got it and opened it up it was just this little thin almost like a blanket thing so that wasn't cutting it either so then what we did was we bought a I think this one is a full size um, mattress and I'll have a, we still have the box and um, that helps so with the original mattress this here and this little blanket thing, foam blanket thing, and then the blow up mattress, that actually becomes a comfortable sleeping area. So I'm just gonna put that back for now. And there's a window there. That's actually an escape window if it's an emergency situation, a fire. We've got some closet storage and overhead storage there and a window there and there we go and another closet storage so it's kind of got a his and her closetry and both sides have usb ports Let's see if i can kind of zoom in there's a usb port over there with a with a little area chris has got a little tiny fan he likes the noise of the fan to give some background noise so on his side he's got a tiny fan over there and then on this side there's a usb port oh actually it's not it's actually a electrical socket there but i put my usb devices i plug them in there 
And this is my side with my little area to store stuff on. So, yep. This is very nice for two people. And um, it's very comfortable. Very, very comfortable. And this is what it looks like from this view. And it also has, let me see if I can turn this on for you guys. It also has over here, we have, this is for our slide. So we've got one slide out. So that's the control for the slide out. And then our water pump, our water heater, all of those controls. And then it's got... A little blue mood light so in the evening it's kind of cool when you want to turn off the the overhead lights and just watch a movie and just have on the blue mood lights you've got that so it lights up the kitchen and entertainment area this has got slide out to open Oops, he's got something going on back there, so I'm going to leave that alone. This is our oven, and it's a two-shelf oven, and we haven't used it yet. We usually just use the microwave and the gas um, cooktop. And it's got a little bit of a backsplash design there. And a kitchen window. And then, of course, the pantry area and our cupboards. Yep, so that is the tour of our Ziggy Design. And so I said I would tell you guys what uh, air mattress we use. It's actually a queen size. Um, so I think I said in the beginning that it was a full size air mattress, but it's a queen size air bed made by Living Solutions. And it came with its own pump. And it says, quick inflation deflation screw valve. Comfortable flocked sleeping surface. Includes a 110 to 120 volt AC pump. And the dimensions are 80 inches by 60 inches by 85 inches. So that is what our setup looks like in the bedroom. And that actually makes for a comfortable sleep, having that air bed addition. Okay, guys, and let me turn on some lights in here. And so the adventure begins. I am on the scout for food. So we're in Chattanooga, Tennessee, and we're scouting out some restaurants to eat. So, here we go. Turn right after one half mile onto US 41.
They've got signs up ahead for Ruby Falls. Let's see if I can get in close on that. I hope you guys can see that. And we went to Ruby Falls one summer before my amputation and had so much fun. So if you guys have never been to Ruby Falls in Chattanooga, Tennessee, it's a very neat place. And if you have been, please comment below and let me know if you enjoyed your visit to Ruby Falls. And we're pulling up in the plaza where the GPS said was a high ranked restaurant called Hillbilly Willies. So that is where we're going to go. Whenever we travel, I like to find food that is specific only to that area or mostly to that area instead of just doing the regular chain restaurants that you find anywhere USA. So here we are at Hillbilly Willie's and we're gonna get some barbecue. And I'll show you guys Hillbilly Willie's. It says flame grilled burgers, pork hand pulled, baby back ribs, beef and chicken. And we'll see if they'll allow me to vlog when we get in here. But I can at least show you the outside. All right, guys, we are here at Hillbilly Willie's. There it is. And it's barbecue. Let's go inside. Yum, the menu looks delicious. We got mac and cheese, house salad, french fries, banana pudding. And now it shows here that they even make homemade pizza. Cheese and a 
got to get my clothes. So. And I've got my Arnold Palmer. Right so I am ready to dig in. I am hungry. So let's give this a try. Um, I'll order coleslaw as well. Okay, I'll grab it for you. Thank you. And can I have a knife also, please? Yes, thank you. Okay. That's all right. Thank you very much. Right, the mac and cheese. Here we go. Mm. No. Oh gosh. Down home southern cooking. This is what I'm talking about. Delicious. Melt in your mouth type of thing. Here we go, another bite. Oh, look at that, look. Oh my gosh. Too bad they haven't invented smell of vision yet. Look at that brisket. Cooked to perfection, look at that. Oh my goodness, yes. Let me tell you. I don't know how I'm gonna do a diet because I just, uh, I can't give up this good southern cooking. Mmm. Mm. Delicious. I haven't even put the, I haven't even put the barbecue sauce on it yet. That's how good it is. Mm. And the mac and cheese. Oh, this is so good. I'm gonna try. Coleslaw. Oh, it looks good. This is how I like my coleslaw. I like it nice and creamy like that with that type of a consistency to it. Look at that. That just looks good. doing here. I highly recommend you guys. If you're in Chattanooga, Tennessee, and you and you're near Ruby Falls, you gotta come to Hillbilly Willie's. Mm. Delicious. And they give you a big piece of Texas toast. Dig in, guys. This food is so good and it is piping hot. Here we go. Of it. Woo! It's got 
just enough zing. I like it. Excuse me, please, while I enjoy my dinner. I hope y'all got something good to eat there because this right here is delicious. Okay, guys, so I just got back in the car from eating a delicious dinner at Hillbilly Willie's. And again, if you guys are in the Chattanooga, Tennessee um, area close to Ruby Falls, look up Hillbilly Willie's for some great barbecue. I had the beef brisket plate, and I'm telling you, y'all, it will melt in your mouth. So check out Hillbilly Willies. Everybody was very friendly. Thank you so much to the wonderful staff. 
Until next time, take care. Please be sure to comment, like, subscribe, and click the notification bell and check out some of these other videos.